We have a great group, and, and, and let's, let's uh, show the love to our first guy, uh, and I know you're going to have fun with him. Welcome Michael Lamont, ladies and gentlemen. Michael's here. Hail, citizens. How are we doing tonight? Why, thank you. I'd like to begin with the basic premise that I'm an average guy. I'm just like all of you. I've had two of everything in my life. Two kids, two dogs, two houses, two mortgages, two wives. <laughs> too many problems, and most all of them seem to stem from a basic misunderstanding. I'd like to talk about my in-laws for a moment. <laughs> They moved down here about five years ago, and when they did, while they were waiting for their house to be built, they, uh, they lived with my wife and I. And they lived with us for over a year, and that I'm still not ready to talk about. <laughs> but sooner or later, they got their house built, and any time you live with somebody for a year, or over it, 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 any situation where you live with somebody for a while, things get on your nerves about them. One of the things my mother-in-law had a real issue with was our microwave oven. She hated our microwave. It was too weak, wimpy little box. So when they got their house built, I figured I'll pick up some super son-in-law points. You know, I run out to the kitchen salvage yard and get one of those big old 1970s microwaves that boil water in about eight minutes, you know the ones? <laughs> so I go down there, I hook it up, everything's good. A day or two later, I get a phone call. I'm expecting it to be a thank you. How the hell was I supposed to know she had a pacemaker? <laughs> Only way I could tell to find out would have been to feel her up, and that damn sure ain't gonna happen. So we go down to the hospital, and <laughs> she lived. <laughs> and the misunderstanding was mine on this issue. See, I was just this short on the wattage. I was so close. I was so close. I had her. So to make up for the microwave, my wife and I, we go out, and we get them a DVD player and a big old stack of DVDs. Stuff that they're sure to like. My father-in-law is a big fan of westerns. And uh, one of the, you know, he likes to hang around to the house and do nothing and watch TV all day. So this is perfect for him. But as a gag, I slipped a little copy of Brokeback Mountain in the middle of there. <laughs> now, he ain't been to the movies in a long time. I mean, I think the last movie he saw at the, at the theater was the Alamo or something, you know? So... I figure sooner or later I'm going to start hearing about this. Week goes by, nothing. About another week goes by, I get the phone call. And he's all cranked up. And I'm like, I can't understand a word he's saying. So down to the uh, in-laws I go. And when I get down there, he's, I mean, just losing it. He's all over the place. And finally, I got out of him what the problem was. He's like, why are you sending this porn to my house? You know, he says, why don't you just get me a fucking John Wayne movie? Here comes the misunderstanding. I said, you don't get it, old man. That was a fucking John Wayne movie. <laughs> All right. And now, because I have this big voice and I like to use it, I'm going to segue here. Now, I from my in-laws to presidential cocktails. And I know you're saying, how do you go from getting to kill your in-laws to presidential cocktails? What do they have in common? <laughs> Nothing. Number five. The Ronald Wilson Reagan White Russian. Jelly bean flavored vodka and warm milk <laughs> served by mommy. Number four, the Richard Milhouse Nixon Tricky Dick. Tang and impeachment shops served over shame. 
Number three, the William Jefferson Clinton Body Rita. A tequila, lime, and lint shot from Monica Lewinsky's navel. <laughs> Number two, the Barack Obama inverted boilermaker. It's a black and tan with a Long Island iced tea chaser. <laughs> And the number one presidential cocktail, as voted by me, the George W. Bush Bullshot. Who cares what's in it? It sucks! <laughs> Thanks, you guys have been great. Michael! Michael Lamont! Very nice. You were an excellent audience. Excellent.